Ninja here and welcome back to God of War. In the last episode we completed Brock's second quest. In this episode we're taking on Sindri's third quest. Do you remember the dagger you gave him? The dagger stabbed him to the reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah, I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you. <laughs> Another treasure hunt. Pointless. Well, not if Cinder really can make us better equipment with that whetstone. Alright, so where are we going? So it isn't showing there. Zoom out. Where are we going? Up there. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father. Yeah, whatever. Any more tales, Mimir? We're gonna need one. For what? For saving me. I, I know I screwed things up before Balder grabbed me. <laughs> you did, but you are my son. Sadly. Sorry, it's like early in the morning, so I'm tired. How'd you come to be in these lands? Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation, and so I set to demonstrate my work by coming to him with something I knew he'd value, a mystic well of knowledge. Or rather, I should say, a well of water laced with enough mystic mushrooms to make a god see visions. Oh, he was rightly impressed. I can't say for sure what he saw that led him to try gouging out his own eyes, but I managed to restrain him before he finished the job. Or I can just tell you the story later. out his own eye because of mushrooms you gave him aye then i persuaded him it has been his sacrifice made for an even higher form of sight to be bestowed blah de, blah de, blah de, blah i used to think he never caught on but the day he took my eye i realized he had never been fooled but i can just tell you the story later eh. The travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm. Smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? Okay, so that was for the armor. Um. I still can't believe a son would kill his own father. That's crazy. Right? 
<laughs> yeah, sure. I know. We only got one side of the story. But come on! His own father? I mean, I get angry at you sometimes. But Do you? I mean, sometimes, yeah. A little. But I'd never stab you in the back. No. This clan really didn't want anyone coming in. How are we supposed to get there? There must be a way to lift the gate. Maybe with the big water. My thought as well. Thought it was a chaos flame at first. I was gonna be like, damn, nice find. <laughs> Still not a bad find. What did it say it was used for to upgrade pommels? Pommels. I guess sometimes when you don't think I can do something, but I can. It is not always easy to know what. It's okay. I get it. I'm little. Where's that whetstone? I wonder. Bench. Okay, you know what? Keep track. We're just gonna start reading them as we go on. So the hit the phrase "la farm" there. I don't know. 
To know the whatever is to know the brutal history of these lands before the great flood, before the desolation. Men lived peacefully in Midgard. The dead stayed dead. Draugr were a rarity, and the use of satyr magic was considered deeply shameful. That is of the old ways when a man's worth is measured by how well he swings a blade. Strength, our highest virtue. These are harsh lands, and there are, f there are no place for the weak. The strong will prosper in life, and in death join the ranks of the Einherjar? Einherjar? I don't know. In Valhalla. The weak will scrape and, s and suffer a meager existence, joining the ranks of unworthy in the depths of Helheim. Such is the cycle of life, till Ragnarok comes. Harsh. They sound about as friendly as a pack of wolvers. Well, hey, they could be friendly. I clicked left. Don't I? Come on, Kratos. Mm, I had to go down a bit first. Well, oh. This way, duh. It's the only way to go. Ah, uh, platforming. Damn it, Kratos. Cooperate. Oh, there was a thing over here. And that's how we get back up here. Anyways, let's continue. Hold on. There we go. What happened over there? Oh, forgot. This is the sun. That ghost son? How do you know? The sigil. It matches the dagger we found in his father's back. He stood his ground, but it was not enough. They betrayed him. Betrayal begets betrayal. My guess, the young one murdering his dad didn't sit well with the others. He thought himself ready to lead. It cost him his life. I guess. Look there, lad. By his feet. The whetstone! Yes. They used it to smash his face in. They did? Ew. Yeah. 
Yeah, boy. I wonder why they left this whetstone behind. If Sindri wants it, it must be really useful. Well, lad, reavers have very specific priorities. If it's not shiny and you can't eat or drink it, might as well use it as a blunt object. Now I heard me an Odin rip. There it is. Right there. Yeah, I knew that I heard you there, boy. Alright. Let's get out of here. Done here. Uh, you. Boy, sir. God, you look so pissed. <laughs> There's a scroll here. It belonged to the sun. Wow. This goes on and on. Father. Alright, well, time to read more stuff. Dad, while you were off hunting and pillaging, Granddad raised me, taught and cared for me. I loved him, and you stabbed him in the back. I hated you, but the time but time has a way of changing things. The clan celebrated, they spat on his kind spirit, saw it as proof of weak leadership. And as much as I hate to admit it, the craze of Farmadar. Farmadar, I don't know. Thrived with you at the helm. As a boy, I made an oath to the Nor Nornir that I w would avenge him. My skill with a blade grew when you finally began to notice me. When we grew closer. But the Nornir did not suffer broken oaths. Not even those made by a grieving child. Their chests outside Fafnir's storeroom. It reminded me of that oath. So the psycho betrayal continues. You killed the only father I ever knew, but even now, I regret my actions and am filled with remorse. Forgive me. Wow. Forgive me. Filled with remorse. Forget my actions. Mm. Had he thought before taking action, there would be no need for regret. Yes? Yeah. Maybe we should bring this to his father. Back at the storeroom. Hmm. Time heals all. So we're technically doing two quests today. First, I might as well give the thing to... Um... What's his face? Sindri. Where to next? Uh, going to Sindri. Duh. out his own eye because of mushrooms you gave him hi you didn't happen to find what? the whetstone perchance. we found your whetstone oh wonderful this staining is unusual the reavers used it to smash another reaver's face in oh wonderful here for your trouble huh cool I can't wait to test out the new whetstone it may not look like much but it's practically humming with magic. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. To lube it out, he said. I didn't ask for it back. Brock and I are working on something special for you at the temple. Oh. Might as well go do the time heals all thing. Ooh, boy. This is 
been some adventure, I tell you. <laughs> Boy, don't run too far into the mist. Rawr! I hope they do, like, they use this place a little more often in the next game. Like, that'd be pretty cool. Can I kill myself? No. Yeah, the thing's not down there anymore. You can't see it because we removed it. Brock and I have been working on a new Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll do that next episode. Till then, though, we have to go and get this boyo. So we're doing two in one episode. Only because this one's short. Focus up! Yeah, hey, gone with that last little bird. What are you fools doing back? We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? He died fighting? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Vandrid always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. He's a backstabbing bastard, but knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. Aha! We did a good thing. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Yeah, bitch. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people, even the dead ones. Hmm. So much like your mother. Bitch. Okay, what does this dude look like? Hmm. I see. Well, shit. That's it for that one. Valkyrie's Bane. Doesn't that, like, give us resistance to Valkyrie attacks? Yeah, we're gonna need that one. Alright, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned until the next video. And as always, have a good one, folks. Bye.